Today I'm going to show you how to paint a goldfish in watercolor. First I'm going to start with a line drawing with graphite pencil. I don't want to make the goldfish too big. In that case it looks like a giant goldfish. I want to make it a little smaller. The head over here, I want the tail to be here. And you can see the angle of that and coming down to look like this. Right about over here. The middle is over here. Divide this, the whole fish, into two sides. One is a, like a triangle, right here. And the other side, like an oval shape. Okay. This is called planning. And the middle over here, there is a curved line. And there's the eye. Goldfish, the eye is a giant. Making the mark so that when we paint, it will be easier. Let me feel a little bit more confidence. For me, lots of time I don't draw, just paint, okay, like this. Watercolor has a lot about to do with how you use the water, okay. So I'm going to show you how to use the water. I finished the drawing now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the top, the head, and the body, and go to the tail. I'm going to start that now. And I'm going to mix the red and with the yellow. Right, it's kind of this is kind of a warm orange color. Now I'm gonna start now. Start over here, and when you paint, look and paint and look and paint. I'm gonna add a little water. I'm gonna put it here. Good. Now this is a place you don't want to paint into it. That is just the white ring for the eye. Right. I think I need to add a little bit more yellow over here now coming here now come down here i'm also going to leave a little white over here and down here the color change i have a little bit blue color and here I have a little white i'm going to try to leave a little white over here and a little bit okay now coming down over here what i want to do i'm going to add a little blue color i already have some blue color over here add a little blue color. it totally change the feeling a little bit neutral at the bottom over here I'm gonna keep going. The top have a little bit more orange color and the bottom has a little bit blue colors. There is a little bit more color over here, the detail, but we're gonna come back to do that after dry. I'm gonna keep going to the tail. I want to wet this area. On this side, the edge is sharp. The other side is soft. So what I want to do, just on this side, I'm gonna have a little bit of water to make it a little wet. Start with the orange color. So I'm going to start over here, continue with that color and going through here. Okay, coming down over here. Now, what I want to do, now I'm going to get a little bit more yellow. Watch. Now, just the yellow color, right? Mm -hmm. And here you go. Get the water color and going through over there. Like that. And on this side, just the yellow color and going through it over here. And then at the same time over here, maybe add a little yellow color over here, like this, and continue on this side. This is another fin in the back. And over here too, get a little color over here. Over here, I want a little bit orange color on the edge over here, just on the tip, like that. See that, a little orange color. And on this side, I want to add this color here too. Mostly it's yellow color. Watch. Coming up. Like this. And then I'm going to add those lines. Different technique. Now my brush is clean. So what I want to do is just soften this side. You just use the water. Okay. Soften it. This side is softened. Just use the brush, soften the other side. And now have a similar effect. Now over here, I want to clean a little bit. Just use this brush, it's quite clean. I'm gonna just take some color away. Like that, good. That's good. But over here also, I want to get a little bit yellow, orange colors. Start over here. 
I haven't come back to the body of the fish yet. I need to wait until I have taken care of those with the first layer and then I come back to uh, this a little bit later. Okay, then add a little water. If you want to color a little bit lighter, add a little water to it. Like this. And this is a little bit soft, really soft. Just that. Add a little bit orange color over here. That's good. And now I'm going to come back to the body of the fish. And over here, I want to show you how to do a special trick. I want to use three small brush. Uh, number four, number four, and then number three. And I want to make those all together. First, I wet the brushes, and I'm going to put this together. Take a look. And all this together. I'm holding down a little bit lower, like this. Let's see. I'm gonna see. You see that? Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. You see the direction of the line. Like that. A little bit over here too. Give a little suggestions. Yeah. A little bit over here. I think this is good. And on the edge, I'm just going to use one brush. I'm going to get a little bit darker. A little bit darker on the edge. And a little bit darker on the edge over here. So we can see the little clear actually two uh, different fins. Okay, that's good. A little bit on this side. What I want to do, I'm going to have this a little bit orange color over here first. Okay. Uh, watercolor, you need to do it in layers at different times. So because I touch this and actually make the soft transition. Okay, now because the second layer, add a little detail over here. Have a little detail over here. And here you go. I think on the head over here I have a little bit more yellow. So I add a little yellow color and now the color looks a little bit brighter. Okay, got it? Okay. Right there. Okay, a little bit yellow color going through over here. Okay, I think over here a little bit darker. A little bit. Now I'm going to go in into the eye over here. It has a little blue color. They see that on this side, it's a little colder. There's the shadow side. It's quite a bit of details and the goldfish. Now I'm going to get into the middle of the eye bar. Now this is a little bit warmer color in the middle. A little warmer. You don't want to touch the outside color. I want to keep that white color around it. You can use a smaller brush if you want. I'm going to make it a little darker. So I'm going to add a little bit more red color into this color. I make this color a little bit lighter. So it's just pink over here again. Because this is a little bit darker. A little bit darker over here too. Add a little bit detail. And I'm gonna also going to take out some colors for some details. Like say, take a look over here. That's actually a little lighter. When you do detail, you don't always keep adding colors. You can take color too. Over here, take a little color. Just like the eraser for pencil. Make that softer. Coming down over here. Add a little details. I'm going to take out a little colors. And over here, it has a little line. And I'm going to add to that. You see the bottom has a little warm color. Now I'm going to add that a little warm color at the bottom. Add the little colors. I think the colors need to be stronger. Just add a little details. Give a little suggestions like those scale on the body. Give a little suggestion, a little uneven. 
Okay, got a little yellow color yeah, at the bottom. I'm gonna do the final touching. First, I like to erase all the pencil mark. The painting is already dry, so it is pretty safe to use the nitty eraser to pick up all the pencil mark. I want to soften some areas. Let's use this synthetic hair round brush. I would like to have this a little bit softer. And I want to have this edge a little softer. That's good. And I have this a little softer too. And even have a little lighter. This is the uh, two things overlapped together. So I want to have this outside over here a little lighter so you see a little bit clearer uh, there's some separation. This is a side fin over here and you can see this is actually a little uh, softer, half the translucent. If you see a little softer and you actually deliver a message, there's another thing going through over here. But oh, this is good. A little feeling that actually is something blocking the light. Okay, and there's also a little small shape over here. I can see that. I can get rid of this softly and get rid of that. And let's take a look. I think over here and I can have a little light space in here and actually a little bit yellow. So I'm going to take this, take it out and I can refill the color uh, later. And also, I want to get that little small gap of white back. Just use this brush and do a little lifting, small lifting, get that color back. It's good. That. That's good. And the outside, it can be a little bit lighter. Now we can see, we can pay attention to a smaller details now. That's good. Okay. Let's see what anything else and over here I can have a little bit light and that's good. I want to soft this a little bit. I don't think that really need to be a so strong line. And the edge over here I can have a little softer a little bit right there and connect into this side. Okay, and here I can have a little lighter. Okay, and make that softer here.
Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some color over here um, because that has a little bit of a uh, cooler tone, make this a little softer. Now what I like to do, I'm gonna get a little bit warmer color to in this line. That is too much, so I'm gonna soften this. Good. That's good. A little line in here, starting over here. Let's connect to this fin. And I can add a little yellow colors. A little yellow color in here. That's good. And I'm going to come in here to add a little bit suggestions for the scale. Just a little bit suggestion. I guess it looks still a little bit too weak. darker right here star over there a little bit darker a lot of detail over here that's right like that and I'm going to lift up a little suggestion over here a little lighter and this actually connect all the way down here when I have that connection and get a little bit cooler color not so much but right here get a little cooler color now now I want to get a little bit blue colors I want some fresh blue colors at the bottom I'm gonna get rid of some. That's good. Now adding some interesting detail, some contrast. Some red color in here. I'm going to add some yellow color. Okay, some yellow color back in here. And then the head here too, a little bit more yellow. Close to the mouth, and yeah. get a little yellow color. And this color actually can all the way coming up like this, 
I can soften this and lift the color, lift the edge. And I'm going to use this side of the brush and soften this and slowly growing outward. Mm -hmm. A lot more detail now. And add a little warm color and a little darker color. Like that. A little bit, this part is a little bit in the shadow. So what I want to do, I'm going to get, a little, get this little bit uh, bone sienna, add a little red to it, so make it a little bit darker. I want to put it here. Give a little suggestions. Let's get enough suggestion for the scale. Um, now I want to get this a little bigger brush to get the yellow color to spice up uh, for the tail. over here too and start from a little a little more dense color to a little bit less and less I'm going to use the side to give a little line like that and over here too this one is the fun so this deserves a little bit more attention this I'm gonna clean this brush just going to I want to make this a little softer This a little bit softer at the end. Now I'm gonna change back to this round brush. I want to deepen. I'm gonna get a little bit red colors. I'm gonna deepen this area. It's a little bit darker. Much better. Okay, and as this whole area can be a little bit darker, so I'm going to use a little bit. Pick a brush, I'm gonna just gonna take this. I'm gonna take this color, a little bit neutral, darker color for this. Looking like this whole fish here is turning from here. This should be darker. And yeah, this side a little bit darker, even including this area and this area too. 
otherwise the fish will look flat. When you get to the last part, it's a very good idea to use a big uh, flat brush to go through that to reorganize things. Mm -hmm. And here too, I'm going to use a little orange color and just going on this area one more time. That's good. And now I'll come back here. It looks like there is some a little warmer orange color starting over here. So you can see that this actually turning from here connecting into you can see this side of the part a little bit better and soften it out. And actually a little bit you can see a little bit of the the side. I'm going to use this sable brush. It has a little bit thicker here than the um, than the other brush. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little lighter, suggesting this is actually outside of the body. And get a little bit red color. Good. That's very nice. I'm mean, inside over here. I don't want it to be a little bit darker. Uh, if you want the the color look a little bit darker, is the darkest tone is not actually cool color, it's actually a little warmer color, so you have to add a little red color into the mixture. And let's see. Good. Like that. That looks good. To make it a little bit more realistic, I'm going to add a little white uh, to some, make it a little sparkle feeling. Just going to get the white directly from the tube. I'm just going to have a couple dot in the middle. I want to put it somewhere over here. I'm just going to get the white color. I don't want those uh, liquid. Just need a little bit white color. Mm -hmm. A little bit realistic detail. Okay. 